so everything looks good beautiful neat and clean you can see the dash all other interiors hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the far experience so you might have seen in my last videos that I actually bought a car from Carvana and <laughs> eventually you know you say it's a bad luck or something but I got the car the car actually met an accident on the second day so what we're gonna do today is we already had the car fixed via my insurance and we are heading to the insurance uh, sorry to the collision care center to pick up my car which they have fixed so let's see how they have fixed the car and what the experience is going to be stay tuned so first thing first guys so no one was hurt in this accident god bless us all and mind it this was the day two of the car and i bought this car from carwana so to check out the entire carwana experience go to my other video the link is at the top and how the buying process has been but now coming back to the accident so since I have already like lived in almost 25 of the states in the United States, at this point of time, I am at a at fault state. And for those who don't know the difference between at fault and no fault state is, like most of the states are basically at fault state, where you know the person who caused the car accident would have to pay for the damage. And although there are no fault states where the drivers must carry their own PIP or personal injury protection. So. So at this point of time, uh, my insurance actually fixed the car and probably they would try to claim it from the other party's insurance. But that's something which would come in the future and I'll keep you guys posted about it. Even states where, you know, like they can come back even after two or three years for damages. So let's hope for the best. And but for now, you can see that the damages are considerable. And I, although I do have a high deductible, like a thousand dollars, let's see what happens. So here we are waiting for our Uber, and that's right there. So let's hop in. Kashmir, you got a nice name, do you know that? Just for your information guys, at this point of time, my insurance is Geico and I would, again, so because this is not something sponsored, I would strongly recommend like they acted really fast and you know, I was waiting on the other party's insurance for a week or so, but yeah, Geico did an awesome job to get my car fixed pretty quick. And though my deductible is really high, like a thousand dollars, because I have like a couple of cars done with in the past. But then again, yeah. So we are about to reach our collision center. Uh, this lady is gonna help me get my car back and charge me a thousand bucks for the deductible. I'll give you my card. Mm-hmm. Thousand? Mm-hmm. Unless you want to give me a discount. <laughs> I wish I could. I really wish I could. But I can't get this off of here for you. Good. So don't be giving me that. That's okay. Are you sure? I'm going to take it. You got to do what you got to do, right? I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm. I get you to sign that one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to staple this one to yours. You do go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And here you go. Do you want someone to walk out and look at it with you? All right, time to go look at our car. 
So you know, right? It was a pretty new car. <laughs> yeah, right yeah, like I got it. Like the only thing we didn't find was the license plate. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, that was probably it. gone during the mama the accident. Mm -hmm. But this is how we look. So we take care of everything that we had to do to make to bring it back. Perfect. So you know what, right? I got it like. Uh, so the accident was on the next day. I got the car. <laughs> and what, I, I, I took a look at the timing and I saw your tags and I'm like, man, this is really bad for this guy. This was hard, bro. This is hard. Yeah, but he would have been, uh, if anything, just give me a call. Mm -hmm. So, so question. So, because you know this car is like pretty automatic with the advanced, like what do you call that? The adaptive cruise and all that stuff. Everything yeah, is good. Taking care of so there was no internal damage. Yeah, no, nah, we did the calibration that we had to do for all those systems. So everything should be clear out. And as I say, if you run into any problem, just give us a call and we're gonna take care of you. I appreciate it, yeah. brother. Right, thank, thank you, you much. so much. You yeah, have a good brother. one. Have a good day. I hope this is gonna last forever. It's a Toyota. <laughs> that, 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 that's what the reason I got this for. I said because I'm gonna replace my primary car. So I. But that, this is a nice car. This is a nice car. I got it from Carvana. <laughs> you know, I paid extra shit, but yeah. All right, man. Thank All right, thank you. Have a good one. So everything looks good, beautiful, neat and clean. You can see the dash, all leather interiors. Third row seating capacity, adaptive cruise control, lane departure, everything is all set. So this is the final insurance bill they gave me. And since I had a high deductible, $1,000, I had to pay $1,000, you know, and the rest was covered by the insurance. Though I have a history of, you know, a couple of car losses, but I still have good driving records. So it was not mostly my fault. Hopefully this turns out to be good and there is no future problems with the car or with the insurance. You know, just remember me in your prayers. So finally we got the baby back. New as the day we got it. All fixed. And right now it's standing next to an X5. Almost the same size. So now I'm going to tell you the features. So now once we have the car, everything looks good. Now we are heading to Walmart uh, to get some add-on accessory. So I'm gonna show you later on like what I'm gonna use those accessories for. But for now, let's get inside Walmart and see and find those accessories. So we are in the Walmart right now. Probably that's at the end. Oh, here is aisle H, 23, 22, 21. We need to go to 10. H10. Let me see. H10 H10 oh, I don't need the chargers or starters no batteries batteries so finally we found it that's the Aristot power inverter so what we use it for we would plug it in you know and we can have a AC power outlet within the car and I'm gonna show you later on why we need this so we need to go to J2 
and J2 is right there. J2. It's Jason, my man, who's getting my stuff. Yep. Right. You can check out. Yeah, you can check out. Check me out. <laughs> yeah, Jason, my man, is checking me out here. I'll be in that. You go ahead and put yes or no on that warranty right there from. Oh, you don't take Apple Pay, right? Oh, nah. Okay. Would you like a bag? Nah, I'm good. Were you live streaming or are you YouTube video? YouTube. YouTube? Yep. Yeah. Dang, man. You gotta do live streaming, man. I know, bro. You, you know, we got a lot of things, other things to do in life. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like this little trip to Walmart, man. Trust me, you get it. I know, bro. I know. Yeah, maybe. You know, I'm just working things out. Oh, uh, okay. It's, yeah, YouTube, you're gonna blow it, man. Yeah. I feel you. You go ahead and show your card down here, boss? I did. Oh, I didn't go through? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Alright. So that's the <laughs> bill. So now we are heading out of Walmart and we have got our CarPlay and the AC adapter. And just in case if you are hungry, you can grab a burger at the McDonald's right here. So there are hundreds of reasons to buy a Toyota Highlander. Obviously these guys go like hundreds and thousands of miles, maybe 200, 300,000. But then again, this came, this vehicle came in equipped with other excellent features like blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, which actually in Toyota is the radar mode. The radar mode is like, yeah, you just follow a car, you don't have to press the gas or brakes, and that is what made me buy this car. And as you can see in the screen, I just drove it like over 100 miles, uh, or maybe like a couple of hours without even using the gas and the brake. So it was just falling up the car in front of me on the highway. Pretty happy about it. So here's the car back from the garage all neat and clean looking beautiful after the accident uh, so let's go jump in and see some of these features so the first thing about this car and the reason one of the reason why i got this car is because of its features though the toyota highlander has its own mark in the market but the first thing was the boots so automatic boots so the boot can open and close like from the remote you don't have to worry about it so that's one of the reason I got this car and let's get in and see the other features all right let's turn this thing up So, the first thing is the bucket seats and these are leather heated seats and could be, you know, inclined in various position. That's awesome. One other thing is the blind spot monitoring. So we have got blind spot monitoring. Uh, let's close the door. And also we have got the adaptive cruise, which is primarily based on radar technology. It's got a big rear passenger space and it's a, it's a seven seating capacity. So that's something I was looking for. The beautiful shades right there. And this is something I put on for my GoPro mount or maybe other cameras. And then if you can let me just zoom in. So it has got the lane assist, so you can see the lanes. And as soon as you know the car diverts from the lane, it will give me warning. Plus, we have got the so that's lane assist turned on, steering assist active, and then we have got the radar technology. So with the adaptive cruise control, so I can set the distance. Uh, like ad I can you know go on an adaptive cruise control but then I can also set the distance I want to keep from the car in front of me so that's one of the reason I got this 
additional features is auto stop start auto high beams boot auto auto wipers leather heated front seats and then we have hill decline snow mode traction control 4x4 four four off so it's an all-wheel drive vehicle and we can just switch it to two-wheel drive if we want to beauty about the car is the rear you know climate control and then we have got i don't know if you guys can see it we do have a ac 120 volt outlet so what i'm gonna do is uh i have got some accessories and i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do with them now i've got additional you know usb ports right here then we have the additional third row seating capacity which is an added advantage while i'm on long hauls i can simply recline this seat while i'm on long hauls i can simply recline this seat and talking about the accessories so i've got an airbed which i can put it up here and i can even sleep while i'm traveling like long distances so let's set the accessories we got from walmart so that is the first thing we got from walmart which is a power inverter and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do as you can see you can just simply plug it into the car charger outlet and now we have a fully functional usb and ac 120 volt adapter and this would be really handy you can use it to charge your laptops or other stuff and primarily i got this for this reason so i can simply use you know the ac 120 wall to inflate my airbag on long haul journeys and we have a space you know we have place to sleep the same way i can deflate the bed and keep it in my trunk when i don't want to use it now since the bed is deflated we can just simply keep it at the back of our trunk and open up the middle seat so the other thing we got is this carplay and we are just going to install it real quick it's pretty easy so as you can see it's pretty simple just plug and play stick it up and then plug the cable in and so the only thing which was lacking in this car apart from all those exceptional feature was apple carplay so this is the how the interiors were when i bought the car from carvana though we have installed the apple car apple carplay here but then most of the things is as is neat plain leather seats heated seats rather you know and these are bucket seats with a lot of features to adjust you know like you can even you can even adjust the the rib line um sorry the idea behind getting this Toyota Highlander was I'm planning to drive long haul and replace this as of my primary vehicle so nothing is more reliable than a Highlander and let's see how it goes so far so good back from got it from Carvana got an accident on day one back from the garage so far so good stay tuned